Hey y'all, let's check out the nest sunbird. Hey y'all, I'm Shy in Second Life and today we're going to look around the nest sunbird. If you're new here, welcome. It is definitely a vibe on this side. We check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. If you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So I went with something real cute, comfy, and casual today, you guys. Got my little drinky drink with my little cookie stack. So yummy. But y'all, look at my shoes. How cute are these? I love them. They are so stinking cute and also oh comfy. Mm -hmm. So y'all, I have had a time from earlier today. This is literally my second or third time trying to record this video so this video is going up on a tuesday i definitely apologize y'all know I don't, I don't really be doing no tuesday vlogs but you know what the way that everything happened is making me feel like i'm supposed to put a vlog up on tuesday so when i dropped down here the first thing that really really caught my eye was the colors i really really love the colors i am in the shared environment and this land is tp friendly also um it's a moderate Sam, so really, really cool for the kitties to come along to. This, this little girl, I don't know, they made me feel some type of way. I'm like, who is this man that she's waving to? They are like all the way across the street. I'm in it. It didn't sit well with me. So you guys, so I am on the Firestorm Viewer. We've heard like many, many things, like mixed feelings about the Firestorm Viewer, uh, viewer I'm sure. But, you know, it's doing what it needs to do for me. Some stuff is not resin like the way that I would like for it to res. So I did look at the Alchemy Viewer, but it was a little choppy. So I said, you know what, we're we going to go back to the Firestorm and make it do what it do. So y'all, out of nowhere, OBS decided that it did not want to work for me anymore. This is a really cute observatory with the water. Water is so pretty. So OBS decided that it wanted to glitch. So I sat and recorded the whole video and I thought that the screen recorder did what it needed to do just to find out that it did not. So then I spent a large part of um, today figuring out what viewer, like what new screen recorder I could find where it would kind of take the place of OBS. And to my surprise, it was the GeForce experience, which is something that was already on my computer, but it, at first it said that it didn't, it wasn't compatible with Second Life, but um, I didn't know what the hell I was doing because just because it wasn't like compatible with it didn't mean that I couldn't record. And it wasn't so much that it wasn't compatible, like it didn't have any games that, none of the games were for Second Life. So they're like, you can, we work well with like Call of Duty and things like that, but not Second Life, which was fine, but you can still record. So I figured that out and that's what I'm in right now. Really, really nice experience. And then another thing that I really like about it is that I also can take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints. I love that. Oh, and it was a Karen over here. She ain't resonating right. Let's see if we can get her to resonate. Look at her. She's like, uh-uh, they over here having fun. Look at them over here having fun put that camera down get out that grass so i like that i can also record the voice on um the geforce experience so i don't have to use like different apps like i was using before to um record so i was really happy about that this new firestorm update it is nice but the feedback that i have been saying on second life of uh, facebook is exactly the feedback that i was expecting to see the moment i logged in when i tell you this is such a huge update it's a huge update and it really is to me, it does, that is so adorable. They have managed in this update to do so many new things. The graphics also crisp. Everything is so beautiful. Very reminiscent of Black Dragon, I will say, but it is different still. But when I tell you, like, look at this shine. This is just the normal 
regular this is where the settings put me no more basic shaders so when you come on if you're able to come on you will have a nice experience from jump which i do like that but the graphics are now so high it seems that it's no longer like an experience for like anybody to be able to come on you really do have to have a gaming computer and not even like any old kind of gaming computer like you really have to have like a gaming gaming computer and i don't like that i don't like that i feel like it is going to exclude i love this this is so cute i feel like it's going to exclude a lot of people who may have just been learning about second life and really just wanting to come on just to see what it's about i feel like you're not going to be able to have that experience even in a different viewer a lot of people said that they were going to switch over to the alchemy viewer because they were just so displeased with um the firestorm viewer with this new update everything here this is so crisp like look how pretty these greens are and i just kind of feel like if you have people who normally are on firestorm haven't had an issue with firestorm and now they're like it's too much for even my gaming computer i feel like that says a lot i've had a pretty good experience i'm i'm not even i'm not even i'm not gonna yeah my experience has not been bad at all there are some spots where it might take a little bit of time for stuff to res in but for the most part everything looks like this fairly quickly very quick crisp very um clear i understand where they're coming from because i would be very frustrated as well if I had to go to a completely different viewer just because they've done a new update, a viewer that I've been in for so long did an update and now my experience is not as enjoyable and effortless as it's been before. I, I could understand that. I could understand that frustration. But when I tell you it's understandable, this update is it's a big update in my opinion this is a really pretty blue is this like a picture with this a just a little abstract okay the update is so huge in my opinion we have emojis now what i was so floored when i saw that we have um emojis now but just every little added detail i noticed the difference immediately when i say immediately i mean immediately when i logged in i saw the difference in um the graphics and i was just like this is no longer for anybody this is for a specific group of people and that would be the people who have high end because i'm gonna keep it a thousand with you 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 really gonna need a high end gaming computer to get on here now if we have high-end people we've got people who already have okay the lighting is changing all right we're gonna go with it if we have people already who are already on a high-end computer needing to switch viewers and complaining about what's happening as far as the graphics go it just really lets me know that people are really really going to need to have a different type of gaming computer not just like uh i just made it on the gaming computer side like it really needs to be a for real for real gaming computer like look at how crisp this looks and i checked the video in the geforce experience it does it in the the video in real time this is what it looks like it might even be a little bit more crisper um in real like if you were on second life yourself very very crisp i love it but i just i don't like i don't like that it's just it feels like it's not going to be for everyone anymore i don't like that as someone who is on second life already i i cannot lie i am really i'm enjoying the new update a little you know sad that it's kind of not for everybody anymore but i'm not gonna lie and say that i'm not enjoying the graphics so it'll be stuff like this where like this won't res in but everything else will be resed in and it'll pop in but it just takes a little bit of time that's what i've been noticing when i come to um particularly lands that i haven't been to before 
look how beautiful everything looks and when i was here yesterday yeah all of these well not all of them but these items are is this and this yeah those are shareables so you'll be able to click them and get little items from them and things like that so like the graphics take a little bit of time like certain parts to pop in what's in this basket but for the most part everything comes in fairly quickly i don't have any issues with it at all oh is this a cute little coffee house what's the name books and coffee how cute this land is so picturesque i love it cutest little sign what's this drink you know we we looks on tables yeah i know i love me some food so yeah i've been frustrated all day dealing with this this is super cute like do y'all see this that signed in resin it's always like like one or two things that don't act right it's not enough for me to feel no type of way about it but look at how look at this matcha what look how real it when i tell you so many beautiful things it's just amazing i don't know why they did that i really think they did the update to be totally honest um, because a lot of people have been moving over to like Black Dragon and different viewers like that. And I think Firestorm was just like, you know what? Uh-uh. Don't, don't go nowhere. Just hold, hold your pearls real quick. Because we about to do an update and y'all gonna want to stay over here. And I do feel like that they're gonna end up doing, um... They're going to end up doing another update because it's so many people who have been complaining about, um, the graphics in the new update i think um a lot of people's issue is that it is kind of it might be a little laggy for them but then also um, when you go on the firestorm viewer they do set you at a space um where they feel like you will have like the best experience there was a man on Second Life Facebook and he was complaining about how when he's on on the viewer, I guess he's in the Firestorm viewer, I'm assuming. He says um, he's normally between um, high and ultra. And now when he gets on, it, it's putting him at a lower setting. And I would be pissed off about that too because he's like, I have a gaming computer. So why is that happening? If anything, I should be like right on ultra. Why are the graphics so high right now that I'm not even able to be in the same type of settings that I was in in the um, update before? So I got that. And a lot of people were suggesting the Alchemy Viewer. I tried it out, you know, much like this. Not my cup of tea right now. I Like I said, sometimes when you're first coming on um, on a new viewer what will happen is things will be a little glitchy just so that because the graphics need time to kind of load and get everything together but i did not like my experience i'm going to work on it a little bit later on i just didn't i didn't have that type of time right now because i need to get this video up and out like when i tell y'all i started on this video mm, it was like today is tuesday it's 1 13 now it was like monday like 1 a.m on monday i should have been did the video the video should have been been done but i procrastinated i did i i can't even i'm not gonna lie i procrastinated i did and so because of that the video was running late and so then when obs started acting up I just, I gave up. I, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna front. I gave up. I love these coffee accessories. Look at the little coffee beans. Super cute. I gave up and I just went to bed because I was super frustrated. I was very annoyed because OBS wasn't acting right. I never, ever, I want to have a close up of these syrups. I've never had an issue like this with OBS before ever and i've been using obs every single second life video that is on my channel i've done using obs every single time so i was very very um taken aback when it just wasn't acting right but you know sometimes things will happen so that you can find something better because in my opinion this geforce experience is better it's just better 
and all this time I could have been using it and I just didn't take the time to actually look into it and be like okay you know what I actually can use this even though it's not set up for second life I can still use the recorder and it'll still work fine you know sometimes it takes a little time for you to get things together but once you get them together they together baby one thing that I don't like about the new Firestorm update is the shared environments. I don't like them. I just don't. The update before this one, well, the environments in my opinion, they were more appealing. I feel like now they're reminiscent of Black Dragon, where it's like you really have to make them your own and kind of go into the settings and do a lot of different maneuvering in order to get the settings right and i don't like that i like the settings when they were just pretty from jump it just seems like the environments that they have now you have to go through too much to make them um appealing well at least i do and i'm not really used to that i know there are a lot of people who take photos in second life and so they're really really good with those things i don't so i'm really used to just kind of like the clear-cut environments that they offer and now i really have to like do things in order to make it look nice this is a really cute display and I don't like that. I just don't. Sometimes you'll come across a land where these mesh people are so nice. You'll come across a land like this where things look nice and the shared environment is already nice. So you really don't have to do much with the shared environment except just be in the shared environment. Hey y'all, so I'm editing this video and it's running long. So come back for part two and I will see you guys next time.